What is going on everybody? Slag Fitness is here and today I want to show you how to make an awesome piece of exercise equipment. It's called a suspension trainer and you will see me using it a lot in my other videos. Now, as you can see, my design is a little bit different from the others. No straps, only high quality Slavic made carabiners and rope. And good handles. Now, you really want to make sure that you use high quality components because the last thing you want to is to fall down and injure yourself. Then you aren't gonna be making any gains. And a disclaimer guys, I can be responsible for any injuries that may be a result of you exercising on your own suspension trainer. You're making this, not me. But okay, enough of this yada yada yada. Let's get to business. Things you will need. Two 8 foot pieces of 10 mm rope, this is the main rope. Two 3 foot pieces of 6 mm rope, this is where your handles will attach to. Two carabiners and handles of some kind. Now just to show you that you can use practically anything. This is a handle I made out of food, plastic wrapping foil, but of course it's better to use a proper PVC or even better, an exercise handle from the store. So, without anything else to say, let's get started. The first thing we will do is attach the main rope to the carabiner. We will do this using the ball line knot. You make the ball line knot like this. Take the rope, Make a loop like this. Pass the rope through the carabiner. Go down through the loop, under the main rope, and then again back through the loop. And you pull it as tight as you can. Here it is. A perfect bowline knot. Okay, now we are going to make our handle. We do this by passing the 6mm rope through our handle of choice, like this. And again, we are going to tie it using a bowline knot. So here is a bowline knot again. Make a loop like this, pass the secondary rope down through the loop, under the main rope, and again back through the loop. And pull as tight as you can. Here it is. This one slide and put the knot inside the handle for convenience. There you have it. This is your handle. And the last thing we are going to do is to attach this beat up handle to our main rope. You do this using a plastic knot. And you tie a plastic knot like this. You twist the secondary rope around the main rope like this and pass the handle under that loop. This is the first time. Again, go another time and pass the handle through that loop. This is the second twist. You want to make sure that every second twist, these rings, they are going from outside in. And for a third time. So here we go. You can see three turns, they go from outside in. One, two, three. First twist, second twist, third twist. We now just have to pull it tightly and we have a plastic knot, a friction knot that will hold our weight when we do our chin-ups, rows, pull-ups, whatever you want. And you can see if I pull it tightly, it won't slide. I mean, you can pull this way, it doesn't go anywhere. You can pull, pull this way, it doesn't go anywhere. But if you want to adjust, just loosen it up a bit and it slides right away. You see? You see? This is awesome, guys. Just pull it tightly, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, you now just have to repeat all of this for the other side. And congratulations, you built yourself a suspension trainer. Now, there are hundreds of places where you can hang your suspension trainer. Take a good look at your surroundings. I personally see this natural gas pipe over here, but it should be strong enough. So, I just clip it like this and pull it like this. Take the other part again over the pipe like this. Now, I just have to adjust the handle height according to my own height. Like this. Ah, this should be good. Okay, now you can start exercising. 
Let's pump up those lights and bars. Dragon Master.